SM Entertainment's plans for the start of 2025 trigger heated reactions. SM Entertainment recently unveiled its album release and concert schedule for the first quarter of 2025, and the company's plans have sparked quite a conversation online. Fans were thrilled by announcements of upcoming releases from beloved artists, but certain planned activities also stirred up controversy. The schedule revealed that NCT's Mark and Ten, EXO's Kai, and Red Velvet Sulky are among the artists set to release new albums, ranging from mini-albums to full-length releases. Additionally, Girls' Generation's Ho Yun and NCT Wish will make their comebacks, while SM's highly anticipated new girl group is finally edging closer to its debut. Yet, some announcements didn't sit well with fans. Lucas's upcoming release and the mini-album of virtual soloist Nevis, in particular, have sparked a mixed response. Lucas, who has been under scrutiny since his 2021 scandal, continues to be a controversial figure. Fans expressed disappointment at SM's decision to include him in the schedule, questioning the company's decision to keep managing the star. Meanwhile, Nevis is set to release a mini-album, which has led some fans to question SM's priorities due to her virtual nature. Many argue that the company should be focusing its resources on human artists within the SM roster, who, in their view, deserve more attention and opportunities. Red Velvet fans, in particular, were vocal, especially about the lack of solo activities for members Yeri and Joy. While Wendy and Soon Sulky are each set to release their second solo projects, fans feel that Yeri has been left waiting too long for her official solo debut. There is also mounting anticipation for a second comeback from Joy, adding to the frustration of fans who feel these artists should be prioritized over virtual talent. Here are some of the comments from fans. An Ari character on SM's comeback plans for next year, but there is still no Joy comeback news and we are about to celebrate Hello's fourth anniversary too. Making her debut with a remake album, which she single-handedly made at work, and called it a day, unbelievable. Giving an Ari character and a criminal with a total of five fans between the two a comeback before Joy, and before a Yeri solo debut is insane to me. While SM Entertainment's early 2025 plans have delighted many fans, they have also ignited a wave of disappointment and criticism. As the debate continues, it remains to be seen if SM will respond to these concerns in future announcements. What are your thoughts on this?